here from Sue's Dog Rob My Poly Tunnel today. So I just wanted to show you what I'm going to get up to today in the Poly Tunnel and the progression of what I've been doing already. So everything's been getting on really well in here. Um, it's quite warm in here today. I mean, there was a frost last night, but everything seems to be okay. Uh, I've covered up all my beds with this. Um, I found out what it is. It's a, it's a um, underlay for laminate flooring. And I had two rolls of it in my garage left from the previous owner. And um, it's made some wonderful for covering up the plants, but it also is really light. So it actually, um, they don't stop growing underneath it and it protects them. So I'm just gonna show you my garden and not waffle on too long today. So here we go, my polytunnel today. Okay, so I'll just show you what I've been up to and what I'm gonna be sowing um, this week, okay? So I just want to show you what I've been up to and how all the plants are progressing in the polytunnel. So, so anyway, everything's been springing into life over the last few days. Uh, so let me just run through everything. So back here we got some Egyptian beetroot. So I'm going to sow some more beetroot because not many of the seeds um, germinated. So um, they started germinating now, but I'm going to sow a few more. So we've got a progression of... Uh, beetroot throughout the season and then the basil didn't come to nothing so I'm gonna start again with the basil because uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything right now um, and these have been I sowed these way too early but there's no signs of life in there so I'm gonna throw some more seeds in there and um, yeah I, I won't I won't uh, toss that out I'll just put some more seeds in there the carrots I mean, the onions, Alicia Gray, they're growing nicely. So I've got to just spray the top of this one. It's getting a bit dry. So I just spray them with a spray gun, just mist them over. The caraway seeds are starting to grow. The fenugreek are really taken off, as the, has the mustard, the black mustard. That's taken off. Um, nothing happening down here with the coriander and everything. Nothing happening in these. Uh, these carrots here are not growing. Um, I'm going to spray that and then I'm going to grow, put some more of these Chanterie carrot seeds in here. Um, in here, the tomatoes, money maker, nothing happens here yet. But I will spray that and throw a few more tomato seeds in there. And then at the front here, we've got our carrots. Parrot. These are a small round carrot and they, they've germinated, so they're doing well. This little plant here looks like it's about to flower. Um, yeah, they've revived the little spider plants. They're quite tough anyway. Uh, these are all right. They're, we'll have to put them out soon, um, as we will the rosemary. Um, I sowed some fine curled cress the other day, and they're taken off. We love cress, so um, we will be having that with our eggs. And then just here I noticed we got some Brussels sprouts starting. These purple French beans are not doing anything yet. The greyhound cabbage is starting to, well, more than starting. They've really germinated now. This leaf, leaf beet, perpetual leaf beet is just starting. There's one there, just starting to come through. The Livingston daisies are doing really well. The nasturtiums are uh, just starting, not really. The purslane. Purslane is really, really good for you. You can put it in salad. You use very small amounts of it, but it is full of omega-3 um, essential acids. It's really, really good for you. Um, so you might want to grab yourself a packet of seeds and, and just sow some of that. I'm sowing it in here because I'm going to actually be putting it in here. But it is like a weed, actually, but it is a really good for you plant. Um, most people just pull it out because it grows everywhere, but I'm actually controlling my growth of this stuff. I'm not just throwing the seeds outside. I'm controlling it and I want it inside my polytunnel. Um, in here, the French marigolds, I can see a couple of seedlings here and there coming up. The turnip golden ball are starting, they're doing well. The nicotinia, they're starting. There's a couple of seeds, they're starting. Um, the asters, no, a bit early yet for them. Pansies, no, they're not doing nothing yet, but they will, they won't take long. Then down here, I planted some um, seeds the other day. I just want you to see this. So I planted some seeds the other day, and at the front here, I, I planted some snowball seeds, 
and they've really taken off and they haven't been in here long so they're another turnip snowball whereas these ones up here are golden ball and then we have peas at the back but they're not doing anything yet um, so I'm keeping this covered up so it keeps nice and warm and then I'm going to grow some something else at the front here over here let me just show you uh, so in this bed covered up also <laughs> is oh yeah the chives my strawberries they're all doing well look at that and I planted a, a one row of onions uh, these are spring onions so I planted one row of spring onions there and I've planted a few bulbs in between which were outside being eaten by something so any stray bulbs I find in the garden where the birds have picked them I just pick, pick them up and pop them in here oh I just noticed this one I need to put that in there and I just plant them in the uh, polytunnel that's what I do <laughs> And then next year I'll move them. So I've found all these little bulbs and I've just planted them all just here. And then once they've flowered, I'll, I'll remove them and put them somewhere else. And then up here, the red baron carrots are really... Carrots? Sue. The red baron onions are really taking off. They're really starting to shoot now, as are the centurion carrot sets. And once these have grown a bit more, I will be transplanting these inside the polytunnel. And then over here, what have we got going on? Uh, I think these cauliflowers are just starting. I can see a little bit of growth just here. Um, these parsnips are not doing anything just yet. These leeks have started. So this whole tray, I don't know why I grew so many leeks. Anyway, but we'll be eating them when they're quite young anyway. I'm, I don't like them when they get all great big um, leeks. I'm just keeping everything small. And then we'll just do successional sowings of stuff. So we'll be eating these quite young. So once they sort of grown to a nice sort of skinny size. And we'll be planting them in clumps so they don't get too big. And then in here the garlic had taken off really well now. And you can see this one here has got a really good shoot on it. So once these have shooted, well they're in line with the onions there. And they'll be going in together with the onions. In one of the beds and over here let's have a look what's going on over here so over here nothing's happening yet um these aren't growing none of these are growing yet some of these are growing they've started to shoot you can see they're all starting to bud a bit you can see that look at this this looks good this little um, plant here i'm gonna have to give these a water today I have to give them all the water we've got to get our irrigation system going soon for the watering of the polytunnel because it will be really hard work now I just want to show you under here Oops, that was well. a... in this side so my beans are under here and I've kept them all nice and cozy with my lovely flooring cover so all my um, broad beans and then along here, now you can see I've got salad crops. So this is Tuscany salad that I started off in pots, um, seed trays, whatever. And I planted these all out last week and I covered them all up. So nothing's got damaged by the frost that I know that we had last night. But everything's hunky-dory in here and growing well. And these are all in clumps. And this is cut and come again salad. So you just go along, take the outside leaves off and then let it grow. And this side is the rocket. So this side I put all the rocket and I've done this uh, the day before yesterday. So this side we have rocket and they're all loving this stuff. Keeps them really warm, keeps the frost off and the light. There's a lot of light as you can see. So they can grow nicely anyway. And it spreads light all into the polytunnel actually. Because it's uh, so bright. And then in here is these. All down this side. So we have loads and loads of this salad. And in the middle are the broad beans. And up here. 
um, we're going to be putting our the bars and then on the bars I've actually bought some black netting now which I'm going to um, which I'm going to actually be fixing onto this and I'm going to um, have all the netting hanging down and then the broad beans can be um, it'll be a permanent structure kind of thing because next time I can grow peas up it and I'm going to grow some I'm going to have a table put there uh, we've now decided to put another table there so I'm going to have to move those peas um, out of there and put them in the corner there and then they can grow up that pole there but um, I need another table because I've run out of room for all my seeds so I have made a bit of space on there but I actually need to do some more seeds now so um, and I like starting a lot of them off on the table at the moment just because I'm new at this and I just um, I just want to keep an eye on everything make sure it doesn't get killed or die anyway I want to show you in here this has gone mental right gone a bit mad here because I've, I've um i sewed a whole tray it green sprouting broccoli i should have only sewed a couple of lines but never mind because i won't be sewing any more of this this year because what i'll have to do is um harvest it and then well it's cut and come again as well this is what this is but i will actually be freezing some of it as well so i'm gonna freeze it because it's gone absolutely mad look at that <laughs> and this whole bed is well almost all this whole bed i think this corner here has not got any but it nearly the whole bed is covered in this so i've got a space here so i'm going to grow something else there oh there's a few weeds i need to pull out under there but look at that and they're clumps so i grow everything in clumps you can split everything up but I'm just growing everything in clumps. And then in between these, I'm going to put some marigolds um, to deter any pests that might like these. And it would look pretty. So I'm actually going to put some marigolds in here. And in this corner here, I don't know yet. I might just bung something. <laughs> I don't know yet. We'll see. Anyway, I need to pull that weed out there. All these shrubs that I bought are actually shooting. I've really got to get these in the ground this week. I'm going to have to just put them in the ground somewhere um, and then maybe move them later because my partner got gout in his foot and he's been indisposed and hasn't been able to move all of the uh, wire off of the bed that I needed him to do. And so now I'm a bit behind with putting in the hedge in um so i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet about the hedging might have to just put it in a plot pot for now anyway the other day i put in here some hydrangeas because i cleared all my bed outside i'll do that in another video show you all the work i've done outside oh my god it was so much work um but i put a couple of hydrangea cuttings in here and i've just put them along this edge so there's one here you can't see it because it's under the ground here and there's this one here so these are hydrangeas um which are shooting but i'm going to be moving those they won't be staying there for long i will put them in a pot but i was in a hurry just to get them out of where i was digging them and put them in somewhere quickly so that's why they're there so that's it for now um so everything is progressing really really well let me turn the camera around That's sorry for now everything's progressing really really well in the polytunnel i mean i know um oh i'm going to show you the seeds i'm going to be sowing this week um i've put them under cover here because all the drips coming from the roof see <laughs> they they drip on all the seed packets and the other day i had them all out and they all got soaking wet because i've made a paper i know they have the foil inside but i left them on the table so i've covered these ones up with um a, just a sack an old sack um just to protect them for a minute so i'll just turn the camera around so you can see the seeds that i'm going to sow this week and i've got loads and loads more seeds but i will be doing them gradually over time i don't want to sow too much at once i did make the mistake with these parsnips cauliflowers and leeks of sowing like whole trays i should have done half a tray of one thing and half a tray of something else uh, it doesn't matter we live and learn hi there 
Right, so I'm just going to show you quickly the seeds that I'm going to grow. So some of these seeds I already had from last time or last year or ones I've already sown. So these are the leaf beet, the Egyptian turnip roots, um, the beetroot. So I'm going to sow some more of these um, into the where I've sowed some already and just pop some more in there. Or and do another tray of those as well because some of those are taken so yeah I'll just do another tray of leaf beet just a small amount not loads and then this is purple sprouting broccoli which um, I haven't grown this yet so I'm going to put this in um, a tray just a couple of lines so we're going to be pot potting them in here and we will just do two small lines like this way oh yeah so that's what we're going to do and then I've got some celery here. So this is called solid pink. I do have another celery as well. This is one that blanches fairly, fairly easily. But I also have a, a celery that is self-blanching, um, which, uh, which I've also bought. So we're going to put this one in because this packet's open. So we need to get this one used up first. And then these are the Chantry red cord carrots which I had over there, which are not growing. So I'm going to um, redo these. So, but my seeds, these are quite old. I bought these ages ago, which could be a reason why they're not, um, you know, why they're not working basically, because they're old seeds. But anyway, we'll still sow them anyway um, and see if they grow. And then in here, we still have some, uh, I think this is dill. So I oh know the packet's got a bit destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, this is dill. I have another packet of dill as well. Um, so if this doesn't grow, because these are old as well, I think. Yeah, they're old. So they might not grow. So if you get old seeds, just try and grow them anyway. If they grow, they grow. If they don't, they don't. I really don't care. I, I just still, I've got loads of other packets of seeds um, to replace all these if nothing happens. But I will try and grow these seeds because they're all in little foil packets. So um i don't see why they wouldn't grow anyway talking about really cheap seeds look at this one 10 pence um these i bought yonks ago i don't even know when um and i'm gonna i sewed these outside which didn't work they all got eaten so i'm, I'm gonna sew these they're um what are they tom tom fun so we're gonna finish off these little seeds i do have loads of other salads as i just showed you the one that i've got that i've already sewed is um and grown growing is um tuscany salad which is a which, which are all different kinds of salads but these are just one kind of salad and then in here oh yes we're going to grow some more radishes because i did plant some radishes straight into the polytunnel and uh yeah that didn't come very successful and then this is normal broccoli so i'm actually going to grow this broccoli which is autumn green um broccoli and you can sow this now you can sow them indoors so i'm going to grow some of these but not too many because otherwise we can have broccoli coming out of our ears uh, as much as i love it anyway and then we've got some spinach so this is i love a spinach this is an american spinach from this company and um they sell these in the spa there's a lot of uh, they sell this particular variety of um seeds so i bought a lot of their seeds from there um and you can sow these now uh you can sow these anytime really by the looks of it yeah you can carry you can sow these all year round so i'm not going to sow many much of this i'll probably do a small pot and then put them in the polytunnel all these things are going to be grown in the polytunnel nothing's going outside not this year anyway because i haven't got any raised beds yet to put anything in and then this is top tomatoes what are these uh so these came from First Tunnels, the Polytunnel Company. You get a free packet of seeds. So I'm going to be growing these. Uh, oh, it says you're supposed to grow them by 2020. Um, oh, they're money makers. So I'll just I'll just use them. Anyway, and in here we got a sweet pea collection, which I did try and grow uh, last year, but unsuccessful. Very very unsuccessful in my garden. Um, so this year I'm going to be growing them in pots and then they're just going to be grown inside the polytunnel. So everything I'm growing is inside the polytunnel. This is the purslane that I got from Suffolk Herbs. And I'll just read you this because this is really interesting. Because I love, I love um, old traditional herbs and stuff. So it says, 
You can eat the weaved sparing eat the leaves sparingly or as a cooked vegetable. Bright green Oh sorry my thumb's in the way. Bright green leaves make an attractive plant. Uh regularly Oh yeah, you got you got to pull it out regularly so it doesn't go where you don't need it. High in omega-3 fatty acids also contains provitamins. Can you see that? Provitamins. Provitamin A, vitamin C plus magnesium, calcium and potassium. And this is a plant that people just we just all pull it out and throw it away. This is really really good for you. So you need to put this in your salads, okay, as well. It's really good for you. Then we've got some flower seeds that we want to do because I love flowers. And the flowers, I'm actually going to be putting a lot of them outside. But we're going to start them off inside and we're going to plant a lot of these marigolds inside the polytunnel. And then we'll start planting the little plants outside. But I can't do that yet because there's nothing else growing and I've got all these birds and animals and I need to make sure that when they do grow, they're sort of hidden amongst the undergrowth. So we've got some regular calendula funky stuff here. Um, so this is sort of like a double one. It's a double calendula. Um, and then I've got the actual pop marigold as well. So they're basically the same thing. That's what they are. They're basically the same thing. This is called own grown pop marigold. And we're going to be plant, we're going to grow both these varieties and see which one is, well, see if there's any difference actually, because they both look the same to me. And then I've got these. I love these. These grow everywhere. Once you get these in your garden, they come back time and time again. They self sow everywhere and they're beautiful. And they're called the poached eggplant. And I absolutely love these. And I'm going to be growing them in pots first. And then um, it says so outdoors, but I'm not doing that. I'm sowing them inside first. And then I'm going to, um, because I've got all these like birds and everything outside. I've got millions of pheasants outside. So I'm going to have to be careful. Like I can't just throw these in the garden because I just know they'll all get eaten. And so I'm going to grow them in pots first. And then I will start putting them outside once they get big enough. Um, and can hold their own I will and I'll also be growing them in inside the polytunnel amongst the vegetables and then I love these now these oxide daisies I've actually um, got some seeds from actually a plant that grew in the middle of my lawn because um, they grow in lawns and on verges of um, motorways where actually they plant them there and they're quite a tall daisy and they're absolutely beautiful and I love these and they close and open and they last for months and months and months. Um, the one plant lasts for months and months and months. So you can just plant some of these. I'm going to be sowing these inside of pots as well. It said it, they are a hardy perennial, but I'm going to be sowing them in pots inside the polytunnel. And then I will plant them out and that you put them out. Uh, they... Then September to October and the one that I had in the lawn this one great big plant it actually stayed alive till December um, and then these morning glory I absolutely love these two these are so beautiful I grew these when I lived in my cottage in Essex years and years ago um, but I absolutely love these and I'm going to be sowing these indoors as well so all of these I'm going to be sowing indoors. These are ones that I really, really love. My next lot of seeds, I want to get some hollyhocks. Um, I love hollyhocks, delphiniums as well. I want to grow those as well. So I'm going to have to get those. I haven't got those. I've got millions of other seeds, but this week is what I'm going to be growing. I'm going to be doing all these seeds this week. And then only a few of each, not millions. Oh, I can't control myself with how many seeds I sow at once because we just want um, a succession of uh, crops. We don't want like one of something and then, yeah. <laughs> so I will get it there. But everything is going to be um, put inside the polytunnel and then... As the weather warms up, I can gradually move things out into the garden. So that's the plan. I just turned the camera around. So the plan is, is to grow all my seeds inside the polytunnel this year. 
Um, and then hopefully next year with a lot of these plants I'm going to be putting out, they're self-seed and I won't have to keep putting loads of seeds outside. Um, I am, you know, I do have a lot. We've never really grown loads of flowers here outside because I've never had time to do it, as I keep saying. I've never had time to concentrate on the garden as much as I have this year. And plants that I've put out in the garden, they're, they're starting to pick up. I've got more flowers and um, the primulas are starting to grow, things that I've sowed. I grew some cyclamen, but they, they um, I'm going to have to move them because where I've put them is round a tree and they don't seem to be growing very well. They started growing well and now they, they seem to have... Mm, uh, they don't seem to be doing very well. So I think I'm going to move them all and bring them all in here and then let them really take off again. And because if like they get eaten by slugs and things, they keep trying to grow and then they get knocked back and then they get knocked back. And they can only get knocked back so many times before they don't bother to grow anymore. So, um, so on another video, we'll be showing you my progression with what I've been doing outside, which is rather a lot. I've actually done a lot of stuff outside, but um, at the moment I need to get on with these seeds. Um, it's Sunday today. Um, yeah, so I might sow some today or I might leave it till tomorrow. I'll see how I feel because, um, yeah. So anyway, so that's it for now. So thanks for watching. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. And if um, you have any advice for me, you know, I'm, I'm full of like, if you've got advice for me, what's the best way to do things, then I'm willing to take on people's advice. Um, this is my first ever polytunnel um, and I, I'm loving it so far. So, um, so there we are so thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon please subscribe to my channel thank you bye